All right, so today we have the Dell XPS 8950, the brand new desktop for late 2021, early 2022. It was originally scheduled to be delivered in February 2022, and I got a surprise notification that was gonna be delivered right away. So we like that, let's check it out. What's in the box? It is a smaller box than I was expecting. <laughs> so let's just say right here, of course this is the Dell. XPS 8950. You can order it with or without the mouse and keyboard. And you save like five bucks and I had no use for the mouse and keyboard. So I said order it without and apparently you still get the box, which is pretty funny. And here, of course, is just the power cord, three pronger, of course. And the box itself is decent packaging. I don't know if the lights are gonna block that. The shadows are blocking, it has this padding on it. All right, so here we are. We have a little plastic up front, of course. Let's get that off. So you can see we got the Intel Core i9 here. Power button here, optical drive, CD tray, of course, CD, DVD, SD card slot, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, USB-A, 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 and USB-C. They did change up this front design a little bit this year, which is looks pretty good, really. It does look like there's ventilation right through here. I don't know if that's gonna come across in camera or not. On the back, we have all of our audio ports. You can see XPS A950 up here. One display port, two USB-A, and then two regular USB-A ports, USB-C port, and Ethernet port. And here is the big beefy, I got the 3090. So we have a HDMI port and then three display ports. And of course, the power port down here. On this side, we have ventilation here. And you can see sort of the GeForce logo from the 3090 in there. On this side, there's nothing. Uh, on the bottom, there are some rubber feet. If you get the silver one, it has some feet to get it pretty far off the ground, but the black one does not. But I like the look of the black case a lot better. I like this little default here, it looks pretty good. So they do tout that this year's model is a lot bigger than last year's. I did not get them last year's. I do have the XPS 8900 series, so I assume that's probably about five years old. And it looks to be about the same size. The newer model, of course, looks better. This should be the first Dell XPS series to have liquid cooling. On the back, we do have a screw, one screw here. It stays in there, it can't come out. And then you should be able to just pull this out and it releases the side panel. There is some information here about to how to get rid of the PSU, the graphics card and the optical drive. So this right here should be one of, if not the most powerful pre-built you can buy today. This has the brand new 12th gen Intel Core i9 K-series processor. It has the RTX 3090, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and of course, the brand new liquid cooling. Now, of course, they do sell an Alienware version that has the same i9, or has the, the F-series, so that means it doesn't have an internal graphics card and the 3090 so in theory the alienware should be more powerful because it has better cooling i believe however this is liquid cooling it does look pretty decent there there's a fan here and a fan here i guess in theory you could probably add a fan right here the alienware has a fan here and i think two up top this is a hard disk drive a two terabyte i do have a two terabyte nvme there and you can add another nvme right there in the two slot there are some heat sinks on the motherboard this should be the same motherboard shared with the Alienware. This little plastic piece is just something to hold up the massive graphics card. This little metal fin goes to the graphics card and this plastic piece just holds it in place. You can pop that out and take it out and then there's a fan behind it. There's the liquid cooling. There's a fan back here, of course, going to a liquid cooler. And then this part here should be ventilated for the fan. But obviously there's not ventilation here other than the side piece. But I might see if I can add a fan in here somehow. Of course, you got two sticks of 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. You can add two more slots, get it up to 128. There's your Wi-Fi card. And as a 750 watt PSU down here. And while you could potentially get a larger, you know, it may be better to have a larger PSU in this. I did math it out and the i9 and 3090 should work just fine with this PSU. I mean, I would think that Dell wouldn't sell it, but if there's a bottleneck of some sort, it's probably that or the thermal cooling. But we'll see. This is the first liquid cooler they've ever had. We'll see how it does. So you can see how much nicer it looks than the old A900. 
just has an old cooler fan on there and everything's kind of smushed in there and that's a 960 card in there and that's an i7 i think and there's all the hard drives here much nicer looking interior case here with the new a950 of course all right this is not my regular monitor of course i'm just using this to record it but let's go ahead and power this bad boy on all right let me go ahead and set this guy up that's the beauty of having multiple usb a ports here you can get a good easy access there and really having the sd cards here encouraged me to get this one over the alienware even though i know i could just plug something in so yeah i was really torn between the alienware and the xvs i am a businessman with the business i'm not a businessman i'm a businessman so i thought maybe a business class computer would run a little better than the gaming one i know the game one's more powerful but sometimes gaming computers can be a little buggy and i've never had an alienware and i've had multiple xps products so and xps has always been pretty good to me uh, we will be using my mx keys keyboard the mx keys is my preferred keyboard it does look nice with the dell xps this will be on windows 11 pro oh i can name it up front that's pretty nice all right we'll set it up as a new device you can see it does recognize my gram 17 but i don't want to set it up like that yet when i'm setting up a new device i like to set it up fresh so i can get a good feel of how the device is and how i like it i don't use OneDrive. i like dropbox all right still going through the setup process all right there we are set up fresh you can see we have the 12th gen intel core i9 12900k so it's a pretty beefy boy in there memory we have 64 gigs of ddr5 ram at 4400 megahertz first disc is a two terabyte looks like a western digital nvme ssd wi-fi we have the wi-fi 6 ax 1675x the killer wi-fi essentially internal gpu of course is the intel uhd graphics and then the big boy here is the nvidia geforce rtx 3090 24 gigabytes of dedicated gpu memory looking forward to checking that guy out all right so let's go ahead and check for some updates of course uh, we got a lot to download of course let's go ahead and see what's fully installed in here already so you can see we have access alarms calculator calendar camera cortana dell customer connect dell digital delivery dell mobile connect dell update excel feedback hub file explorer geforce experience get help get started groove music intel graphics command center intel optane memory and storage management killer control center logi bolt logitech options that may be installed just because i put my mouse in of course mail maps max audio pro by waves and max audio pro as well so it seems like a little excessive there mcafee security mcafee personal security both are gross that's not acceptable media suite essentials for dell microsoft edge microsoft news microsoft solitaire microsoft store microsoft teams microsoft to do which i do like movies and tv my dell notepad nvidia control panel office office language preferences OneDrive, OneNote, Outlook, Paint, Photos, Power Media Player, Power to Go for Dell, Power Director for Dell, PowerPoint, Publishers, Settings, Snip and Sketch, which I love, or a snipping tool. That's weird that both of them are there. Sticky Notes, Support Assist, Tips, Voice Recorder, Weather, Windows Ease of Access, Windows Security, Windows Terminal, Windows Tools, Word, <laughs> Xbox, Xbox Game, Board, Game Bar, and your phone. So, a lot of stuff pre installed already. Let's do a little Windows E action. And we'll go to this PC of my two terabytes. We have 1.75 free. So really not much taken up. 1.84 terabytes available. So I guess the rest is operating system. So really not very much taken up at all. And of course there is a hard disk drive. Oh, I forgot about that. I will go ahead and install some Chrome action. Windows 11, I've tried. I'm not super crazy about it, but obviously that's the future. And I thought it'd be better to start with a clean install of Windows as opposed to upgrading it, right? See where we're at in updates. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and restart. Let's go to my Dell first, I guess. Congrats on your new Dell. Dude, you're getting a Dell. All right, this looks like a pretty similar screen that's on my XPS 9710 laptop. Let's go to the support home here. So we're gonna do some updates. All right, here we are about a day later. Uh, recording screen here on my Dell XPS 8950. So I did do some benchmarks on it. I changed my theme and background, of course. A couple benchmarks uh, started out with Geekbench here. We had 1897 single core score and 17,711 multi-core score. And of course, Windows 11 Pro 
XPS 8950. All my stuffs. Uh, and it, you know, it ran through it pretty quickly. I looked at some of my old scores. Uh, and this is not too much above, but this crushes anything I've ever seen before on my previous test. And this obviously the Geekbench compute score, which tests the GPU. Uh, this destroys anything I've ever had before, of course, because everything else has really mostly been laptops I've been using. In addition to that, I did run some 3D Mark scores. This is Port Royal score. This is by far the biggest score I've ever had. I looked at my previous high, I think was around 6,500. So this is 12,393 with the 3090. So you can get over 170 FPS in Battlefield 5 or Fortnite 150 plus in 1440p Ultra. You can see the average score is 13,938. That's with a 3090, I believe. The best is 20,000. You know, that's saying the best with a 3090 and 12 Gen i9s. So that's crazy high, uh, this one. I would say, again, I never know if these average and best are really accurate or not. I mean, I guess they should be, but my scores never seem to be anything amazing. For some reason, it won't let me. If I click on this, it's not doing anything. And then I also did Fire Strike, also testing GPU. Again, another crushing score, way better than what I would normally get. Fortnite, we're looking at 175 plus FPS, so pretty great here. This is 36, 192. I mean, just all around top notch scores here. Uh, better than I've seen on any device I've tested. And I did do times by that 18409, again, the best score I've had. Still pretty close to what the average is saying. Obviously, 170 FPS. Uh, just, you know, all around excellent scores here, as far as I'm concerned. For the past year, I've mostly been out testing out laptops. This is the first desktop I've purchased for myself in probably five years. So these numbers are absolutely crushing what I've had with my laptops. And also, anecdotally, it is nice to be back in a desktop. Sometimes with laptops, there's a little finickiness when you try to dock them and get them to wake up and come on. It's just uh, it's nice being back in a desktop. Also, for those benchmarks, I don't know if it matters, but I was running this at 40, 14, 40p, 175% scale, and 100 hertz, which is what the monitor it maxes out as. For wallpapers, they move them around on Windows 11, but I feel like these, the one listed as Dell here, of course, are the default. They're all just kind of seeing different color variances here. I'm using this gray one, but, and of course, all the standard Windows 10 wallpapers, which look Pretty good, I like this glow theme, I do like a lot. The sunrise is here. And then of course the classic you see in every promotion for Windows 11 one, as there is. But uh, I've been liking this grayish hue here. I might switch it up. My intent is to use this as my daily driver. I really run my YouTube business off of this computer. Game off of it, do business tasks on it. So this will be my daily driver using for all the things. Obviously it's a pretty penny, but mine was roughly $4,100. I did that haggling a little bit with Dell support. Um, I got it down to where I thought was an okay price for the components you get and it's pretty solid. But obviously with that high price tag, I'm gonna keep a keen eye on things to see if anything goes wrong, anything goes wonky. I won't hesitate to return it because I don't want to waste that kind of money. I haven't done anything to test thermals or anything. I will say when I ran the Port Royale test, I could hear it, the desktop. Uh, the rest of the test, I didn't notice any sound. I'm used to using laptops, which you can hear pretty much constantly, but as far as the desktops, this one was smooth and quiet. It only got a little loud when running Port Royale, which I think is a heavy test. I think it's testing ray tracing. Uh, either way, so far I'm impressed. I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously, I prefer it to be cheaper, but we'll see. Like I said, keep posted. Keep checking out the channel. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Bell, all them shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of videos posted on this desktop coming up, so keep tuned to the channel, and you'll see some more information. Leave me a comment for any questions you want to know. Someone on Reddit asked to get thermals. I don't really know the best way to do that. Leave me a comment if you know the best way to track thermals on this, and then I'll, I'll post about that as well. All right. Thanks for checking me out.